Hey y'all, uh, appreciate you stopping in to watch another one of my videos here. And uh, today this one isn't really going to be HVAC related. I uh, just wanted to shoot a little video for a good friend I made on here and actually show her how I isolate all my water lines in my home. Um, she went through hell when uh, that uh, Hurricane Sandy came through up there and uh, it, it really tore her house up bad. And uh, I'm, I'm really proud of her because she's actually taken it upon herself to actually do a lot of the work herself. She's actually uh, done a bunch of the sheetrock. She's done, uh, uh, taped it, uh, primed, uh, primed her walls. Uh, she's actually, uh, you know, she's done all kinds of stuff. Uh, wallpaper removal. Um, you name it, she's doing it. I actually, seen her like do a little tile work, but uh, and she's uh, turning into quite the quite the painter there too. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to shoot this for you real quick. And uh, basically, what we have here is this is my main water line that feeds my home. And down here, I know y'all can't see it, but down here, uh, there's a, a gate valve down here. Okay, and they are notorious for leaking. Okay, they're they're. I think it's just a it, it, it was a it's a terrible thing. I. I don't like gate valves whatsoever but uh, anyway what I actually did here was I took um, and I took a I had to take a pair of channel locks to get her to shut and uh, basically what I did was once I got her shut down I used my little bread trick and then I soft soldered in this ball valve here um, once I got the ball valve soft soldered in I was able to open the gate valve back up again I checked and made sure my packing nuts were good and taut and uh, now I never have to touch that gate valve again. I mean, if you get in trouble with that thing, man, you're, we're talking jackhammering up floors and all kinds of craziness. But uh, anyway, all right, so now we officially have a, uh, a water main uh, that feeds the house uh, ball valve here. And I've actually got a, a yellow indicator flag on here, water shutoff valve. So um, if anybody wasn't familiar with, uh, with the house, uh, uh, most people know to run to the basement to check it if you have a basement. And uh, basically they'd see this uh, yellow indicator right here and they'd just turn this valve off. Okay, And then now everything in the house is uh, shut down. Everything's isolated. Okay. All right. In the state of Kentucky, uh, in Fern Creek here, uh, we get really, really cold winters, and uh, so a lot of things freeze. And basically, back when I worked for that one plumbing outfit, one, one of the biggest calls we'd get was the outside receptacle freezing and then causing the pipe inside to bust. So what we've actually done here, guys, is uh, what I did was, I guess you could call it basically um, uh, winterizing. So what I've done is, like, today's going to be a nice day. I need to get out there and do some of my lawn care stuff and spray a little chemical, some weed and feed. And so I need running water. So hopefully this is the last time I have to turn this, uh, turn this off until, uh, until uh, winter again. So that's how easy that was, man. I mean, look. Boom. We got running water. Okay, guys. Uh, let's show a few more things here. Um, like I said, I know a bunch of y'all have already seen me do this video. I'm, I'm shooting this for a friend of mine. So uh, basically what we have here is uh, we have a, uh, a Watts valve. And what I've done here, guys, is I've, I've actually isolated the, the washing machine here. And I actually put on these, uh, these braided hoses. These braided hoses aren't bust proof. However, they're a lot stronger than the other ones. They're sort of bust resistant is what I'd say. And I suggest y'all spend the extra couple of bucks to uh, get these instead of the other ones. I would say that uh, I'm not sure on the percentage rate, but uh, I, like I said, working over at Plumbing Outfit, when we'd actually come come back in on uh, something that got flooded, it was like when they went on vacation and they didn't shut down their uh, the water to the uh, to the to the uh, washing machine here and those cheap hoses broke and then then you come in and your float your couch is floating down the down the hallway there but that's as simple as just you know turning that dude off right there that simple now it's isolated now there's no way for anything to to pop there so uh basically too guys uh we've got a hot water heater here and i'm sure everybody's got one of these and these are notorious for going out and and uh then you're kind of stuck like chuck without water um, you know, there's gas-fired ones and there's electric ones, and uh, this just so happens to be a, a gas-fired unit here. So, uh, several times, this uh, a few times back when I actually uh, replaced the water heater here, I actually installed a ball valve, okay? If you're going to do anything, any one of these, this is where I suggest you go. You definitely need a ball valve on your water heater. Um, if you, if your water heater goes out, you don't have this, you're stuck like Chuck without, uh, without any running water in your home. You can't use your restroom. You can't, uh, get any, uh, water from the kitchen sink. Um, you know, you're not going to have hot water. You'll have cold water, but you can at least flush your toilets. Okay. Okay. So that's a big one. This is a big one. And I would say your, that, uh, that main there would come next, but, uh, actually this one right here, that's the one I suggest the most. Okay, guys, you know, I go overkill on everything. And what I've actually done here, guys, is I isolated the upstairs bath. 
Okay, I've got I isolated the hot side and I isolated the cold side with ball valves. So now, God forbid, if we have an issue upstairs, I can simply come down here and turn off the hot, turn off the cold, and I can deal with the issue at hand. And the family still has running water throughout the throughout the house, and we're isolated upstairs until I can get that fixed. Even if it takes a week, you know, we still have running water to the house. Um, same for here. Uh, we just installed, uh, 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 me and my little brother and my sister-in-law uh, made a shower for, for my mother. And I actually took these branches here that feed uh, the shower in there. And I've got uh, isolated the hot and isolated the cold. So if we got a problem in there, God forbid, all I got to do is shut this down. And we still got running water upstairs. And we still got running water throughout the house, uh, up to the kitchen sink and to the uh, outside hose bibs. All right, guys. Uh, what I've done in here was I actually took and uh, I put myself some uh, some ball valves in the, in here and this is actually what feeds the kitchen okay there's this is the hot side of the kitchen sink here's the cold side of the kitchen sink tied in with the uh, teed in with the hose bib that feeds outside and as you can see that one's off too and I'm going to be needing water outside out back as well so let's go ahead and turn this puppy on all right guys that's how easy that is bam it's on okay all right man I appreciate you watching my video and I reckon we'll get back to you here in just a bit okay guys it's a beautiful day here in Fern Creek, Kentucky. It's hard just to chilling. Ain't you, boy? You taking it easy, being a good boy for daddy. You sure are. I want you to go in now, though. Come on. You don't need to be around none of this. Good boy. Okay, guys. Um, I reckon I'm going to get to some of my yard work here. Um, I actually went out and bought uh, several bales of this uh, pine straw and everything. I'll get that laid down here probably next weekend or something. Um, got them out front too, but uh, anyway, what I'm going to do today, guys, is uh, actually went out and bought myself some of this uh, Weed Be Gone Max Plus Crabgrass Control kills weeds, not lawns. All right, so I actually had this one from last year. Um, I went out and bought a gallon of it this time and uh, got me one of these little sprayers, these Miracle Grow sprayers. Um, in the long run, I think it's going to be cheaper using it by the gallon, but. Uh, Anyway, uh, let's uh, hop on out front here and uh, maybe take a peek and see if uh, how our hose withstood the, uh, the elements. Um, okay. Now, like I said, I've strategically placed these uh, pine straw bales all around the yard and uh, We'll get them down soon, just to dress it up, make it look nice. But uh, anyway, I've already pulled my hose out here. <laughs> Y'all keep keep mine out of gutter now. And uh, let's see uh, see how we're gonna do here. This is what I meant by a gate valve. These are gate valves right here. So let's see if we got any leaky here. And I use this steel braided on the outside too. Uh oh, here's some water down there. I'm gonna have to replace that nozzle there, but. Uh, I don't see any leakies here, so I think we're pretty good. I think we did good this winter, guys. So, uh, basically, let me shut this back down. Get the pressure off the hose here. guys let's uh, get after it we exhausted all this so get our miracle grow dude out here
set it to feed and water. And I guess we're on a shower stream. All right. Take our hose here. Hopefully this don't leak everywhere too. Yep, yeah, we got washers intact. The, another new hose reel we hang, hung for mom last year. So let's uh, get us some holes out here so we can do the yard. guys we're uh, finishing up for the day got uh, got my fertilizer down and uh, had a pretty good time out here today it's a, a really nice day I think we got up to about 72 today but uh, you know I couldn't end the video without uh, trying out my zoom again on my new cam so I'm all the way back here to the fence and we're zooming dead in on Sarge look at that ain't that something all right guys let me uh, try one on the uh, the weed be gone here God, I love this camera, guys. It is just something else. But I uh, appreciate y'all watching today. I had a real good time, and uh, I reckon we'll holler too soon. I gotta, I gotta get in there and uh, watch the Cardinals rule. All right, guys.